Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. That's right. I'm running Windows inside my Mac. It's a virtual machine of Windows running inside of Mac OS X. I could also run Mac OS X inside of Mac OS X. I could run Linux inside of Mac OS X, Chrome OS inside of Mac OS X. But the only way to effectively do this with a great degree of ease is with Parallels. They just released Parallels Desktop version 7 that boasts over 90 new features, especially for those of you who are running Mac OS X Lion. Uh, you can more easily go into full screen mode, which is one of the features that uh, OS X Lion is, you know, really kind of getting known for, especially when you're dealing with Macs that have small screens. And I know what you're saying to yourself, Chris, I already have Windows, I already have a PC, I don't have a Mac, why should I care? Well, because Parallels and Locker Gnome are giving away a MacBook Air, yeah, with a copy of, of Parallels that you could run Windows on your Mac. And we're giving that away at some point over the next few days, and I'll get into the details in just a second. Now, if you're not already aware, a virtual machine is pretty much a PC or a computer that's running inside of computer. So you can access hardware inside a virtual machine that you can't do through classic emulation. This is not emulation, it's a virtual machine. And Parallels in the new version uh, has bumped up the video memory. You now can go up to one gigabyte of video memory with full 3D desktop acceleration right here inside the virtual machine. And I know you're thinking, well, oh, Chris, I can do that in boot camp. Yeah, but you don't get the nice drag and drop, syncing copy and paste. You don't get the really seamless experience that you can get through using Parallels on the desktop. Parallels allows you to synchronize a, say, Windows partition with the Boot Camp partition. This virtual machine is Boot Camp as access through, are you confused? We'll see, this is all kind of a borderline technical, but the key with Parallels is that it makes it super simple to stay within the world that you know, say Windows, and still work within the operating system Mac OS X. You can sit here and go, well, I'm gonna browse my computer, oh, there's the Explorer, I'm gonna explore the local disk, look at this, I'm, I'm using Windows, I can go to the Start menu down here, I could even enter full screen, as I said before, another Lion feature, I could even Alt tab between open applications in Windows and it would work seamlessly with the Mac OS X environment. So essentially, if you're running Parallels Desktop 7 and if you have open Mac apps and open Windows apps, you can access them from the same interface, Mac OS X, a familiar interface. And now you could also access all of your, say, Windows application shortcuts from within the launch pad of Lion if you wanted to. See, look at this. I'm this is this is Windows. I'm I'm running Windows, but I'm still inside of Mac OS X. I love it. Another new thing that I happen to like about uh, the Parallels Desktop version 7. Don't worry, I'll get to how we're giving away that MacBook here in just a second. I, first, I want to show you this stuff. This is really kind of neat. If I go to File New, what it'll ask me is what do I want to set up? Well, do I want to install Windows from a DVD or an image file, migrate Windows from another PC, or do I want to use Windows from Boot Camp? I'm already doing that here. Here's, here's the kicker. You don't have to have a copy of Windows already. You can buy Windows 7 from within Parallels Desktop version 7. And one-click install for the Chrome OS, for Fedora, or for Ubuntu. And, and that's free. Yeah, of course, Ubuntu and Fedora and Chrome OS. They just make it one click simple to install any of those operating systems as virtual machines. So say you've always wanted to play with Linux, you just didn't know how, and you're already using a Mac, or maybe you don't have a Mac yet, but you might get one with the MacBook Air giveaway we're going to do. Uh, this is the best chance of you uh, to, to be able to set things up. They've even added the feature install OS X Lion using the recovery partition right there. They've made so many changes, over 90 changes to Parallels Desktop 7, I pretty much run it all the time. Why? Because I do like some applications that are only available in Windows. I still use Outlook inside of Windows. They have Outlook for Mac OS X, but really it's not as good as the Windows version of Outlook. And of course, you, you as much as you, you may think you can do it, I don't think people can live without Windows. There are certain times, believe it or not, that I actually want to go in and run Internet Explorer, if only to do benchmarks, if only to check out the experience that I can only get through Internet Explorer. Believe me, it's possible. That's Internet Explorer preview uh, for version 10. Yeah, I can run beta software on there, and it's not a problem. I like Parallels. I've been running it for a number of years. It's what I recommend. If anybody is interested in the slightest of switching from Windows to Mac OS X without losing 
effectively anything, this is the best way to do it. And I know you're thinking, Chris, but what about the webcam? I can only use the webcam on uh, on Windows I, 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 or, or, or Mac OS X. No, with Parallels Desktop 7, you could use the webcam in, in either operating system. Any hardware that I plug into this machine, say by USB, it can detect. I can set it to auto detect or say, no, I don't want it to detect this. I can connect to my printer on my network here. I, this is Windows. It's a PC a virtual machine running on top of Mac OS X. So uh, detailed more features, of course, in the corresponding blog post. But now to uh, probably the most important part of this video. How are you going to get your hands on that MacBook Air that Parallels and Locker Gnome are giving away? It's really quite simple. Uh, first, give this video a thumbs up. That's that's easy enough. Uh, and then, of course, you know, leave a comment. That's hopefully a good comment. And, and this, is the, this is the big thing here. Uh, follow me on Twitter. And the Parallels asked for this, not me. And over the course of the next five or six days, uh, since this particular giveaway will happen on 9-6-2011, in about five or six days, I'm recording this on the 1st, September 1st. Uh, so on September 6th, uh, we're going to do the random giveaway once a day. I am going to tweet from my account, at Chris Perillo, something about this video and the blog post talking about Parallel 7. Retweet that tweet. You can retweet each particular tweet that I do, whether it's related to parallels or not, but we're going to be looking specifically at the retweets of what I tweet related to Parallel 7 between now, today, September 1st, 2011, and September 6th, 2011. That is how you qualify. Again, Parallel set it out. Twitter's free, tweeting's free, retweeting's free. Of course, I, again, would recommend, if, if you don't want to miss a beat, retweet everything I do. That would be awesome. Uh, I'd certainly encourage that. But uh, just specifically retweet our tweets that include Parallels 7 between now and then. We will draw one random retweeter out of that pile. Parallels has the technology to figure it out. They had enough technology to figure out how to... Oh, what are you saying? Oh, you're saying that you're you're not really interested in, in, in sitting in front of a screen? Oh, I didn't even tell you one of the better parts of Parallels Desktop 7. I didn't know if you knew this. It's been available for a while. The uh, mobile app, specifically on uh, iOS, uh, they've now updated it to a new version. And this is the kicker. I can control, and I, I believe I've covered this in the past, I can control this virtual machine here, uh, right here on my, let's see if I can, Double tap, move it, there we go. I just wanted to grab it to show you that I'm moving it around live and in real time. I can access my virtual machine from anywhere. Uh, I could also start up any virtual machine that I have. So right now Chrome OS is suspended. I'm gonna go ahead and start that up, this virtual machine at Chrome OS. And then if I wanted to, oh, you see it? It's, it's, it's starting up here on the computer and I can log in remotely. So I can access Windows eh, in conjunction, say, with an iPad keyboard like I have right here. I did a video on that a while ago. Oh, and uh, they've also taken it a step further beyond those two things. I can now control, and I have to zoom in here, my entire Mac. So there we go. Try, I was trying to move it around there with zooming in. I can control Mac OS X, I can control any virtual machine, including a, a Mac OS X virtual machine, from within the iOS app. Right now, that iOS app is available for five bucks, and that's down from about 20. If you have an iPad or an iPhone, because it's a universal binary, you don't want to miss this. It's pretty awesome. For those of you who always wanted to run Windows on an iPad, this is going to be the easiest way. It's no-click install. You, you basically have the virtual machine set up here, and it just works magically uses your internet connection it's great oh and the parallels tools you don't even have to worry about uh, updating them they'll update automatically here on the desktop they've made things so incredibly simple with version 7 so there you go i just wanted to show you that before i forgot everything uh i almost did and i even i even set the the ipad there to remind me that i needed to show you that and i almost didn't sorry hopefully you'll forgive me either way uh you now know uh, how you could get your hands on a MacBook Air courtesy of Parallels. So, we will see you here on YouTube for future videos. Hopefully, you're already subscribed to this channel, maybe even our other channels like Questions to Answer or Brick Tricks. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, and you should if you want to participate in this random giveaway, at Chris Perillo, Facebook.com slash Chris Perillo. I'm on Google+, Plus, plusing it up. I Seriously, I do love Google+. Plus. It's, it's a strange addiction, more addictive than software. I can't believe I just said that. 
uh, you can join me there. Follow, find me, Chris Perillo. I'm verified, so you know there's only one real Chris Perillo there. Twitter hasn't verified me yet, but I'm certifiable. That's for sure. We've got a blog, chris.perillo.com, lockernome.com for all the latest tech information and how-tos, news, and reviews. And then, of course, we've got the live video feed going out over the web 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And if you really need me to tell you anything else, my email address is chris.perillo.com. The chat room, live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.